brisket. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're doing up some stuffed cabbage or galumpkies at the pit. And it's real easy to do. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is make a sauce for the stuffed cabbage, all right? So we're going to start here with some tomato sauce. All right. Here we've got some rice vinegar. You're going to need a half a cup of dark brown sugar. Oh, what brown sugar you got. You're going to need a tablespoon of minced garlic. You're going to need two tablespoons of minced onion. You're going to need a teaspoon of chili powder. Oh, man. It's going to be good. Here we've got a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You're going to need a cup of water. Here we've got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We've got some uh, cornstarch, about a teaspoon. And here we've got a tablespoon of soy sauce. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you want to mix it together and bring it to the heat so it all blends real nice. Now, there are a ton of ways to make uh, stuffed cabbage, or some call them kolumkis, right? That classic uh, Polish dish. And uh, this is our version, but it doesn't include rice. So um, do it the way you want. This is one of our favorite ways to do a stuffed cabbage roll. So the next step is uh, you're going to take your cast iron pan, oil it up a little bit, because we're going to saute some green bell pepper. Here we've got some shaved cauliflower. Yeah, that's what I said, cauliflower. And here we've got some onion. And what we're going to do is... Uh, Soften them up just a little bit. Simple. Okay. All right, next step. We've got um, ground beef here. We've got ground pork. And we've got some ground veal. It's like doing a meatloaf, right? And to that, we're going to add some SPG or some seasoning, about a tablespoon, a couple eggs. In a way, it's like doing a meatloaf. All right. Here, Slasher is adding some cider vinegar, about a teaspoon or so. Here we've got some lemon juice, about a teaspoon, more or less. In goes about a half a cup of brown sugar. And here, Slasher is adding about a half a cup of beef stock. Right. Good. Now, next goes in our pan of sautéed uh, veggies. And you can look the other way if that bothers you, of course. And you want to give it a good mix. Oh, this is going to be good. It's well worth the effort to take some time to do it instead of going to that fast food joint, right? <laughs> All right. Mixed. And we're going to set it aside a little bit. That's the stuffing for the cabbage. So next part, you got a whole fresh head of cabbage here and you want to core it, right? You want to remove this hard core in here. It does nothing for anybody. Unless you're a cabbage head and you probably figure out what to do with it. So what we're going to do is we're after the leaves of the cabbage, right? And this is how you do it. We want to steam it. You might have a half a cup of water. Do a quick steam. Maybe it takes 10 minutes or so. And this will soften it up a little bit and make it real easy to pull off the leaves one by one. Now do it carefully because these are going to be the pockets. So for this dish, I don't know, we're going to need seven or eight, more or less. And you can see how easily they pull apart. So now we're going to take our stuffing and just pack them in. Depending upon how big those leaves are will determine how much stuffing goes in, right? So you want to 
roll them like you would a burrito. Easy. And keep the uh, seam side down when placing it in a oil pan. I told you this is going to be easy to do. <laughs> All right. Now, just in case you uh, fell asleep on that last shot, we're going to show you how to do it again. Just take a good bunch of that stuff and mix, put it in that cabbage leaf, roll it like a burrito, or your favorite way to roll, and just use the seam side down, right? And that'll keep it tight as it expands during this cook. All right. And since we kind of like doing this, uh, let's show you again. Be sure to make a bunch of the greatest leftovers for breakfast in the morning, right? With an egg on the side. <laughs> Serve them up the way you want. Oh, man. Now, you can head on over to our website to get the exact ingredients and the measurements. You all know about that. We're getting close to 900 recipes now. They're all instructional. Now, we're going to take that sauce we made, and this is more of a chili sauce version. It's got a little bit of heat in it. That's the way we like it. I'm going to pour it all over them stuffed cabbage. And because we live in a uh, Polish-American community, we're going to call them golumpkis. All right. Now, we're going to put them on the grill opposite the hot coals because we're going to use the grill like an oven. And it's about 325 degrees in there, maybe 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And it won't take long, maybe 45, 50 minutes, more or less. All right. Now, we're about halfway through. Take a look at that. So we're just going to uh, reposition the pan just a bit so we got some even cooking. Perfect. Not long to go. Oh. In the miracle of time, these stuffed cabbage rolls are done. Call them galumpkies. And it looks good. Oh. Lord have mercy. I am telling you, nothing left to do now, but um, we're going to eat some of this in front of you. I mean, this is what the pit master gets to do, right? Whoa. Martha's going to love this one. <laughs> so because we know you're going to be asking, we're going to take our 10-inch pit master butcher slice it so you can take a look inside oh, can you smell that it smells good now add a little bit more sauce so uh, this is the part where the pit master is gonna eat it in front of you and he's not gonna apologize so uh, you better on go down and get your own ingredients cook this up your family friends where their chapter boys are gonna really love it. Good, good. So if you like this recipe, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate your support. Or if you're over on the uh, on the book, uh, follow us if you can. You can head on over to our website and start a chapter. We'd appreciate that. You just sit here, maybe with a good beverage. Oh, and of course, the good things in life are simple. Take the time, kick back, 
Thumbs up. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.